I can't change who I am. It's who I am, it's my art. Dressed in skin-tight jeans, high heels, and a wide-brimmed black hat, 16-year-old Jonathan Escobar tells me how he recently moved to Kennesaw to live with his sister and go to school at North Cobb High. He moved from Miami, where he lived with his parents. Because my parents didn't want me to dress like this in school. When he went to enroll at school, Jonathan says he asked administrators questions about how he could dress. What if I were to wear a brightly colored wig? What if I were to wear heels? He said administrators indicated it wouldn't be a problem, but then it was. There was a fight in school because someone said something rude about me and the other person defended me. School officials say they told Jonathan he had to dress more like a male or he couldn't come to school. They point to their dress code, which states, all students shall be required to refrain from any mode of dress, which proves to contribute to any disruption of school functions. So Jonathan withdrew. Schoolmate Jeray Comstock created a Facebook group called Support Jonathan. He should be able to show who he, who he was and get an education without being made fun of and kicked out of school. I mean, if a girl can dress like a guy, but a guy can't dress like a girl, it's not right. I want people to know that it's okay to be different, gay or straight. 